Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and greetings from Scottsdale, Arizona. We're here at Wonder Spaces, which is this kind of like modern art, immersive art, projection art museum. We're gonna go in and show you uh, what it's all about. Yes. I go by the legend. That's my girlfriend, Molly. I'm excited. Yeah, it's gonna be different. Let's go check out Wonder Spaces. So we are now inside of uh, Wonder Spaces. Uh, one of the first things you see is a bar, which serves like craft beer and craft cocktails. Uh, we are drinking a Coronado Brewing Caramel Current Pastry Stout. Really tasty. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, I think, is one of my favorite things in the museum. It's called Killing Time. Essentially, this skull is sucking up these particles. And then it's cool once it's done. Yeah. Um, very much kind of feels like some of the experiments in the queue for Flight of Passage at Walt Disney World. Yes. I believe this is probably using some of that same or similar technology. But it is awesome to see in real life and then, then it just oozes back down. And there it is, that's really cool. Um, you do also have something over here where it will draw people using like these robots. And uh, that's really neat too. The next one is Rainbow Rooms, and this is one of the weirder ones yes. in the whole exhibit. Uh, you got, just got a room of strings. Oh, this this is really odd. A chair. Oh, yeah, a couch of yarn. yarn. Uh, rugby balls covered in yarn. A very old TV. Playing, playing like rugby stuff with yeah, like, like Nelson TV. Mandela yeah. on it. And then uh, to contrast the rainbow room, there is this bedroom, which is nothing, nothing but you know white. Yeah. Definitely a little bit on the strange side. Yeah. So a lot of the museum is just big white hallways, and then you go into different rooms like this one. Called you don't know what yeah, you don't know what's going to be behind the curtain. This one's called Light Lakes. And what this one is. It's projections onto disco balls. And then what you're seeing on the walls is all refractions from the disco balls. It's really cool. Yeah, it's very trippy. Very well done. Yeah. It doesn't take much at all. No, it's, it's very simple. This next one is also very bizarre. It's the Sewing Machine Orchestra. So it looks like there's probably like 13 sewing machines or so in here. Yeah. And they all are organized to sort of play at different times to then make noise. It's like fascinating to me mm -hmm. to have all this hooked up and like mm -hmm. program it and put lights attached to mm -hmm. it. There is a, a soundtrack in here as well, I think. Yes. But it, it, it's interesting. It's like if, you know, the Country Bear Jamboree existed, except it was made of nothing but sewing machines. This <laughs> is what it would be. Country Bear Jamboree, so maybe that's why I like the yeah. sewing machine room. This room, I would say, is probably the simplest in the entire museum. Yes. Thank you, Bags. It's just two giant thank you bags. Blowing in the wind. Uh, yes, blowing in the wind. It kind of fits since we're in a mall. Yeah. And uh, yeah, who have ever seen this before? The next room is micro monumental mapping, the essence of creation. And what this is, it's kind of like a projection mapping show. Like the castle. But yeah, like the castle at Walt Disney World, just done on a tiny, tiny, tiny level on a, a recreation of what I'm assuming is some sort of like state capitol building or something like that. Yeah. And uh, really cool, very trippy. It's about six minutes long. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was very different. This next room is very unique. This is virtual reality. Yes. So you grab a headset, you put it on, and you can watch one of two different movies. Uh, there's a five minute movie kind of about like, I don't know if it's like micro worlds or outer space or some sort of combination of it's the two. It's definitely an outer space. And then the second movie is all uh, like if you were tripping on ayahuasca. And it, I took mine off and I watched you and you got freaked out with the spiders. Yeah, the spiders and like snakes. Like the way that you that, moved. 
The snakes turned into like subways, and it was very strange. It was also very entertaining to watch someone watch it. Yeah, but I, I really enjoyed this. You know, I, was, I, I can't trip on ayahuasca. I get fired from my day job, <laughs> but I could do that in virtual reality. <laughs> And it's such a good use of virtual reality. It is. So, uh, you yeah. can always change it. Yeah. I think this was probably my, my favorite thing in the museum. I think it was really mm -hmm. cool. This room is called Fuji. And it's on a very, very large scale. You're talking about uh, the screen kind of thing is projected about 20 feet tall by probably about 50 feet wide. And the, uh, the, the pencil drawing, if you could see it, that is actually written on the wall and then everything else is projected and mapped to this corner room. And it's uh, done up in a couple of different styles of like animation, mm -hmm. uh, all related to a bamboo forest and Mount Fuji. Uh, this was a, an exhibit I enjoyed because it was done on such a grand scale. Yes. Uh, the next installation is called Plume. And it is an igloo you walk inside of. which has all these crazy lights and sounds in it. You can see it's really kind of doing one design now and now. Now we are inside of a, a colorful disco ball. Uh, it is pretty big in here. It's really cool. It is. It's very mesmerizing. Yes. So unfortunately, this next room is really not going to work on camera here. But there's like different levels of plexiglass that makes the projected light look like a, a massive field of stars in this giant room. Again, it's way too dark for the camera to pick it up, but it is uh, in person. It's neat. And that'll do it for a time at Wonder Spaces. Really interesting, very different. Yes. Um, it wasn't quite like the immersive art you would see from like a Meow Wolf or an other world, but it wasn't like a modern art museum either. No, it was a lot of projection mapping. Which as a technology guy, I absolutely love it. Yes. Um, I thought, I definitely think it was like, it was about $24 each to get in, but I feel like I got our, my money's worth. And one cool thing about this, they changed out the exhibits about once a month or so, they get a new exhibit. Or once every two months, they get a new exhibit. So if we were to come back in like two years and Wonder Spaces is still here, the experience would be completely different. Yes. Uh, now that we saw a lot of weird stuff, Molly, what was your favorite of the weird stuff we saw? I love the disco ball um, of how it was just putting lights on disco balls mm -hmm. and then it seemed like there was projection mapping on the walls but it wasn't it's just the reflections yeah for me it was probably the vr stuff i like that a lot yeah. i think it's a really great use of vr to really transport you into this other dimension kind of thing and and you know using it on all sides as well and uh my second favorite probably the skull yes yeah, so with the time with the liquid cool. metal kind of stuff yeah that was that was really awesome but overall, I really enjoyed it. I, w I like these types of art museums better than the... Yes, then go see like, oh, this is, this is a painting from 200 years ago. Yeah. Like, th this is far more interesting. And they had a bar we could drink, so that, that helps as well. All right, guys, you got any questions about Wonder Spaces? Let me know in the comment section below, and thank you so much for watching.